Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, up bright and early, got a big day ahead. Uh, just about to go head on my way to Super Cheap Auto to pick up some primer and some paint. Uh, today I'm going to be painting the intercooler on the Sephiro. Just tidying up a bit and uh, give a little update on the skyline as well. So stay tuned. <laughs> Just got back from Super Cheap Auto, uh, picked up some primer and some paint so we can paint the inner cooler. Just got some uh, cheap and nasty shit, does it go just as good. Right, so the first thing I've got to do is, well, take the bumper off, but the bumper, as you can see, is already off. Uh, next thing I've got to do is just take this grill off. Alright, so i got the grill off and now all I've got to do is just undo bolt here, bolt under here, and just another one over here, and then just take the hose clamps off on either side of it and then the thing should just drop right out. So I've got the inner cooler off, uh, I've just taken the top bracket off here just uh, so I can make it easier to get in here and uh, get rid of all of this paint. Chucked some rags in here and taped up the ends just to stop any dust and paint and things like that from getting in there. Don't want that going into the motor later on. But I mean, yeah, you can see why I want to sort of paint this up and make it look a lot better than it does. I mean, whoever painted this in the past obviously did a, did a pretty shit job on it because uh, it's definitely gotten up a bit messy. But I mean, also time, st stone chips and whatever gotten in and scuffed it up a bit. but. It's time to make it look pretty again. Uh, so all I'm going to use to take this off is just a bit of prep salt and some scotch bright. Just going to spray it on and spray a bit on here and just lightly scuff away at it and uh, yeah, should be able to take the paint off just, just by that. good prep salt took all the paint off just uh watered it down rinsed it off made sure no crap was left on it and just airbrushed it dry managed to not fuck any of the fins up so it's still gonna have good flow just gonna go over up some primer and some paint and then see how it turns out So it's a new day today. I left up yesterday to let the inner cooler dry overnight to make sure the paint was, you know, all the tackiness had gone. So when we went to put it on the car, didn't mess it up or anything. Uh, unfortunately, when I went to actually paint it, my GoPro died. So I didn't, unfortunately, didn't get a time lapse of that. Uh, before I chuck it on, I'll just give a quick update on the uh, on the Sephira, what's going on with the drive shaft. So as you know, the center bearing um, on the front part of the shaft had completely destroyed itself. And we actually figured out why that was. We realized that the rear section of the shaft was actually too short. So we're thinking it may have been off a skyline or something, but we've got the proper rear sh shaft now. And we've also got a new, a new hanger bearing just here. So basically this just slots onto here. I've actually got to take it to a drive shaft shop near my work and get it pressed on uh, tomorrow, Monday. But once we get that pressed on, we can chuck the drive shaft back in the car. We've also made, uh, well, my uncle made this little bracket to hold the speedo drive in, which was what we were missing before. So get all that done, get the oil back in the gearbox, and then it's off to get a few small wiring things sorted, and then it's pretty much ready for cert. So it's gonna be pretty cool when it's done. But yeah, here's the inner cooler. I think it turned out pretty well considering I've never painted anything in my life before. Also got the bracket here. Gave that a quick paint as well. So um, let's get that chucked on the car and see how it looks on there. Let's chuck some rags in the inner cooler piping here overnight to stop any some dust and any other shit from getting in the uh, getting in the piping. Inner cooler's back on. Looks pretty good. Grills in. It's time to put the bumper on now and see how it really looks. 
how to put your bumper on, zip ties, drift spec key. Alright, bumper's on now. Looks pretty good. Nice and stealth and tucked away. Maybe in the future I'm going to paint the piping on the side of it to maybe hide it a little more, but now I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. Uh, so the inner cooler's all done, uh, bumper's on, and it's turned out pretty good. Turned out a lot better than I thought it would. You know, I've never really painted anything before. So all we've got to do now is get the fans wired up, uh, get the alarm and immobilizer wired up, wired up, and sort the drive shaft issues. And then pretty much once all that done, it's just got to go for alignment and then it's ready for cert. And now about the Skyline. Uh, the Skyline is actually sold. The reason for selling it is that I, I brought it for a really good price. I brought it for four grand and I sold it for almost five. So I made good money on it. And the original plans for it were to build it more like a track car so I could go out and learn how to properly drift. But it did have live reach, so I kind of feel a little bit weird about taking a car off the road that's live and turning it into a track car. So I think what, I, what I'm going to try and do is try and find a Sylvia that's deregistered and still build the 25 pretty crazy front facer, big turbo injectors and a Link ECU. They're still trying to get about 400 horsepower out of it. Um, but yeah, in a, in a deregistered Sylvia. Uh, another good thing about going to a Sylvia is that obviously the steering setup in them is completely different to a Skyline. It's a lot better suited for for drifting. Thought of uh, that to come, um, it'll probably be in a few months. I think I'm going to focus on finishing the Safira before I go um, actively looking for something else. It's, you know, save a bit of money as well and try and find something that's going to be perfect for what I want. Cheers for watching, like, subscribe, comment, all that crap. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Cheers.